Oh, it's a beautiful morning out today. Jeez, would you look at this? It's like 70 degrees, it's just perfect. Uh, I got a couple packages coming today. There are a couple little improvements for my uh, for my RV, so I'm excited to get, get them, excited to put them in, and uh, excited to show you guys what I got. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I bought nothing but snacks. That's all I bought. And cheese was on sale. So I just bought a ton of stuff for quesadillas and I'm just gonna like eat quesadillas for the rest of my life. Ooh. All right, so I just ate like four cheese quesadillas and that put me into some sort of weird cheese quesadilla coma for the last hour so I passed out I don't usually take naps in the middle of the day but let's go see if my package has arrived yet very crafty December activities. What is that? It has legs and everything. Look at it. It does. It has legs. Hey, what's happening? You need a ladder? Your first time here to yeah, yeah. the island? It's something special, man. Super nice people here. Super nice service. Super awesome service bringing the ladder to me. Today we will be replacing my kitchen vents. My old one's just flapping in the wind and smashing vent installation kit. This is a putty tape. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the putty tape onto here to seal it and then putting the screws through. But then I also got these LED light bulbs and these are gonna replace all the bulbs in my RV. They'll decrease the energy usage of the lights. They also produce a lot less heat. Oh yeah, and I got this nifty little keychain ring tripod for your cell phone. So when I'm out and I don't have my camera, I can still take really cool time lapses and I'll let you know how this works. Let's do this vent. First, we're gonna go ahead and take off this old vent. That is a new one. Look how white it is. This is the old one that I just shredded to pieces taking off. See how yellow it is? Looks like a good fit. All right, now I'm gonna remove all the excess putty that's sitting around that hole. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is putting this putty tape onto the new vent, right here. And then we're gonna screw it on. And hopefully that should be it. Let's go put the new one on. Look at that putty job. Jeez, so good. There it is, all sealed up. I might caulk around the edges too, just because I don't know how good that seal is. But people said you don't need to. So uh, let me know if you think I should. All right, we're taking a break from upgrading the RV to go out to dinner with a couple of friends here at the campground. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test out one of these LED bulbs. Here they are, and made in China. What do you know? All right, so, old bulb, new bulb.
Can you tell the difference between the two? That on the right is the LED bulb and on the left is the incandescent bulb. Woo! Ouch! That's hot. This is what my rig looks like. These are LED lights right here. None of these have been replaced yet, so these are all still incandescent bulbs. But we're going to test this against what it's going to look like after I replace the LEDs. Uh, Amelia! Keep in mind that if you do end up getting these LED light bulbs, that sometimes you may need to flip them over to reverse the polarity if they don't work at first. Okay, so I've just replaced all of the bulbs with the LED bulb and my house feels much more like a jail. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm in prison or in an office of some sort. My camera's on the same ISO as before, so we should have a pretty good picture of the differences between how it is now with the LED bulbs and I'll flip to the incandescent bulbs and we'll see what that looks like as well and compare them side by side. Ooh. So what do I think about these LED light bulbs? If you look right behind me, you can see, I think these bulbs are different shades of white. Should you buy these bulbs? I don't know. I will say a couple things. One, the energy draw is much less. Usually when I have this many of my lights on in my camper, I can hear the fan that cools my breaker box. I can hear it on, it's blowing, it's making sure that breaker box is cool. I have a lot more lights on in my camper right now than I usually do when the fan kicks on, and there is no fan. So what I'm assuming is that the power draw is much, much, much smaller. And then on top of that, heat. So these incandescent bulbs, they pretty much, as soon as you turn on the light, these heat up really hot. They cool down pretty quickly, but they get hot really fast. And if you have them on for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, they're going to be extremely hot. Heat is definitely something to consider, as is power draw. So I definitely think LED bulbs are great for that. Their downsides is they definitely are not quite as bright. Um, they're close, but not quite. They're also not quite as orange, and that orange color makes you feel like you're in less of an office and more of a home. What I can say is when I went and removed a lot of these bulbs, I noticed that some were burnt out, but there were also some that were black, like this. I'm not sure exactly why these bulbs were black. There's only, I think, two or three of them, but it looks like either they were going to burn out soon or they were going to light my whole rig on fire and kill me in my sleep. I would say that you should buy LED bulbs to replace your current RV bulbs, but you might want to look into a different manufacturer, maybe one that doesn't have this big old made in China logo on it. Maybe try to find yourself an American manufacturer that gives a quality product. It'd probably be safer, brighter, better, just more consistent. You probably wouldn't have bulbs of different colors. Until next time guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out awesome videos like every single freaking day. So you'll definitely want to be a part of it. So hit that subscribe button. Just do it. Just do it. I know you want to. Just hit, just click, just click it. It's right there. It's right, it's right under this. Do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. What a day, what a day, what a day, what a day.